Amy Snedeker. I'm the director of Christian Education. I'd like to invite everyone else who's here today to come on up and join us. You guys can have a seat wherever you'd like. Thank you for singing. Hi, Soren. Come on up and join us. Look at all our friends. Come on up. Come on up. Dagny, you want to come up? Here. All right. Have a seat, everybody. Good morning. Okay. I, I'll, maybe I'll sit right here and, man, I'm going to talk to you. I like to look at you when I talk to you. I can look at them too, right? Um, okay, so boys and girls, first of all, thank you. Uh, anybody remember what that, what does that song mean? Ingrid. Oh, come on, we what? We praise your name, oh God. That's right. It's a wonderful song of praise. And I just want to remind you that we do spend a lot of time in prayer and maybe quieting our bodies with God. But also, it's great to sing songs of praise and have wonderful celebrations over all of God's love, right? Well, I have a question to ask you. How many of you have lived your whole life in Naples? Can you raise your hand? <gasps> Look at that. The whole life in Naples. Okay, let's ask the grown-ups. How many of you have lived your whole life in Naples? Oh, dear. You, you totally have them beat, don't you? <laughs> well, that's a wonderful thing. Naples is a beautiful place, but I have to tell you, I have also not lived my whole life in Naples. And I'm going to tell you about a time when I was 13 years old. Anybody up here is 13? Nah. I was 13 once. Can you believe it? I was, and I was still living with my mom and dad, of course, and my brother and sister. We had lived in one small town all the way up until I turned 13. I had the same friends. I went to the same church. My grandparents were nearby. I knew everything about that place because we lived there my whole life. Well, when I was 13, my dad was offered a job far, far away. And my mom and dad decided it was a good thing for us as a family, so we moved all the way out to Kansas, where Dorothy's from. We went all the way out there. Well, at 13, I was not super excited about this idea. I was leaving my friends and everything I knew. I was anxious and unhappy about the move. But you know, we got there, and I got to do things I never would have done if we had stayed in that one small town. I got to go to a bigger school with lots more resources. I got to study music at a college in town. I got to be part of a really big youth group, and that was a lot of fun. We did some mission work and things like that. And those things would never have happened for me necessarily if I had stayed in that one little place. And so even though I was worried and scared at first, it turned out to be exciting and wonderful. And God goes with us in those times, and God was with me then. Well, Jesus is telling his disciples the same thing. They're in a small town at this point in our story, and I'm going to tell you more about it in Sunday school, but Jesus is doing amazing things. He's healing people. Things are going great. And lots of people in the town want to see Jesus. And he says to his disciples, you know what? We got to move on. Because God has asked me to share God's love with everyone, not just with one little place. And so even though that might seem scary and uncertain, God's going to go with us and give us the strength and give us the, the skills we need in those new challenges. So I want to remind you that God calls us to do the same thing. God may call you to do something really big, like move someplace with your family, or God might call you to do big things here right in Naples. There are wonderful things to be had everywhere, and God calls us to new challenges. Now, how do we know how to face those challenges? Anybody have an idea? Well, I have an idea for you. Just like you learn in school, you spend time learning math and science and reading. Those things don't just happen like that, right? We spend a lot of time learning those things. We also need to spend time with God. We need to spend time getting to know God and, and learning how to hear God's voice in our life. And so when we do those things, then we know when God calls us to new challenges, we aren't going to go into those challenges all by ourselves. God goes with us and will give us the strength and fill us up with love. Okay? Let's say a prayer, then we'll go to Sunday school. But not through the rain. Okay. 
Dear God, we thank you so much that you are with us in all things. And we thank you that when you call us to new challenges and new adventures, that you go with us in, in all things. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Billy, I'll answer your God is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>